On August 21st and 22nd, 2021, Guns for Everyone National once again joined up with the Are We Cool Yet 3D Printing Community Development Group and Second Amendment Organization to host a regional gun makers match at Triple J Armory. Aussie development team members were on hand on Saturday to talk with people about 3D printing firearms and accessories, as well as developing their own designs. One design was actually printed out at low density throughout the day to encourage people that were visiting the retail shop and range to come up and chat with us. At the same time, we had a gun building event going on with Polymer 80 kit frames being completed by people who for the most part had never built guns for themselves before. Several people built guns and then tested them on the live fire range. Polymer 80 is a sponsor of the gun makers match events and both single stack and double stack kits were used. At least one of the shooters had never fired a handgun before building their own and then testing it on the range that day. After Saturday's educational private gun making event sponsored by Firearms Policy Coalition, it was time for the competition Sunday morning. Both kit builds and 3D printed firearms were allowed, but this regional gun makers match was for handguns only on Triple J's state of the art indoor range. There were three stages run, with a minimum of six targets and a maximum of eight targets, with standard competition rules being used, two shots being scored on each target. Two of the stages started from the ready, and one stage required the shooters to prepare the gun at the buzzer. Some of the shooting positions featured barricades, and many of the shooting positions had no-shoot targets in the way of the shooter's angles. Triple J staff, as well as Guns for Everyone, Second Amendment Organization, and Are We Cool Yet community volunteers handled scoring and range safety officer duties. Several of the competitors had never shot before in competition. The gun makers match wants to encourage gun builders to get out and shoot more. One of the shooters arrived with his strong hand in a cast and had to complete all the courses of fire weak hand only. All the scores were tallied up, awards were given out, and of course the requisite group picture was taken. It was a great day. Look for more Gunmakers Match events soon.